and welcome to your Go Market update for the 2nd of June 2022. With Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's just have a look at what's come across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw US equity indices weaker again for the second day on the spin as market caution continues before that upcoming key data that we've got coming out this evening and tomorrow. US futures, however, are slightly higher in early Asian trading. But Asian indices are following that weaker US lead with the ASX down around 0.8%. European futures are pointing to a slightly higher open at this stage, but that may well change before markets open in the UK and Europe. Strong session for the USD yesterday, continued into the night. Pretty neutral in Asia so far. And despite that USD strength, we did see gold move back up to 1850. Oil dropped a couple of percent overnight, but still remains high. And despite that equity weakness, we did see the VIX looking pretty neutral, which suggests markets are fairly comfortable about where things are at the moment and perhaps are expecting data which isn't so bad. Let's just see what comes across the wires later. Bitcoin was looking quite positive yesterday with a move over 30,000 up to around that 32,000 level. Essentially, give it all back by the time the US session was finished and is trading around about 30,000 today, back into that 28 to 30,000 range. Obviously, US jobs are the focus from the data point of view with the ADP and weekly jobs numbers released before tomorrow's non-farm payrolls. That's going to be the major determinant on sentiment. We do have US factory orders, which are also important, due out later today. And Eurozone PPI will also be watched with interest as some of the inflation data coming out of Europe this week has been slightly higher than expected. So that will be obviously of interest to those trading the euro let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning we're going to start in the u.s market and look at microsoft after last night's session you can see this 272 looks like an important level it was support back here in january february march and april prior to break into the downside then we had this textbook double bottom formation so we've actually put the line slightly higher uh, than when this pattern was complete simply because of this previous price action despite that weakness over the last couple of days we've seen microsoft not actually lose any ground at all we got that high close at this on tuesday and of course this last night all around that 272 so that appetite for selling doesn't appear to be there which suggests that there's a possible move up towards this 291 which is around about five and a half percent so obviously some data will be out prior to this trading again so it may be an interesting one to watch later on on the fx front things are pretty flat but we did see this important move on the canadian dollar yen yesterday after the reserve bank in canada raised interest rates by half of one percent which is was expected to be fair uh, but nevertheless the markets responded pretty positively to that we're not seeing any movement in Asia so far as markets take a breath. This is, to put it into context, highs not seen since early 2015. So if we just look at the hourly chart and try and determine what's going on here, we've obviously got some resistance now in the short term at 103. And we've got some support, as we saw on the daily chart, around this 102.20. So we're trading mid-range. So you can see there we've rejected really a move downwards after that early profit taking perhaps on this position. So we're sort of caught between two stools really, but both could yield some interesting short term gains. If we wait for a move over 102.80, it would suggest that this retracement is complete and we're potentially moving back up around 30 pips up to 103.07. If however, we break this pivot low here, we could be heading back down to 102.20, which is not a massive amount of pits. But as I said, the FX market is pretty flat today. So there's a few scalping opportunities potentially as markets reposition before the data tonight. But obviously, we're expecting the major action later in the day. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.
Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.